Hello astronomers! Since the Eagle allows you to distribute power to all the devices used with telescopes, in this video I will show you how to choose the correct power source for your Eagle to power them all. Let's start! One of the many advantages of the Eagle is that by distributing 12 volts power through its multiple power outputs, all of your devices will only need a single power source once connected to the power ports of the Eagle. Here you can choose between powering your Eagle with a battery or via an AC power unit. Since a modern telescope system is composed of many different devices and since they can be powered through the Eagle, in order to choose the correct power source, you have to consider the power consumption of all your devices. Let's look at an example by considering the maximum power consumption of each element. This telescope here is composed by a computerized mount, an eagle, a cool camera, view heaters. Other devices like your filter wheel, focuser and guide camera won't require separate 12 volts power since they get their power through the USB ports of the eagle. This means that for this telescope, the total maximum power consumption is around 10 amperes. If you have access to AC power, you can use the 14 amps power unit to power your Eagle. If you are working remotely and need to use a battery to power the entire system for, let's say, 8 hours, you will need a theoretical battery with a capacity of at least 80 amps hour. As you can see, you can't use the same power bank to power your telescope that you use to charge your smartphone. But the use of the Eagle instead of a laptop is a great advantage, since the Eagle has a lower power consumption than a laptop. Two important facts you have to consider when you choose the correct power source. First of all, if you use a battery for your Eagle Power Telescope, you need a voltage regulator. That's because a standard non-lithium battery doesn't provide the same voltage when it's discharged as it does when it's fully charged. Secondly, the Eagle automatically switches off if the input voltage measured at the Eagle's input power connector drops below 11.8 volts, not only to protect the internal computer, but also any device that are powered through the Eagle. This also means that you have to consider the voltage drop caused by the power cable itself. Since any lens or sides of electrical wire will have some resistance, if we assume a total current of 10 amps and the sides of power cable of 1.5 square millimeters, a power cable with 2.5 meter of length will create a voltage drop of 0.5 volts. So if you have a large power consumption, not only you have to have a proper power unit or battery, but also the appropriate power cable connecting your power source to the powering port of the Eagle. This is why the 14 amps power unit for the Eagle is already 12.8 volts instead of 12 volts. If you want to use a field battery, you could use a 12.8 volts inverter, or if you can find this option, you can add a 220 inverter and then the 14 amps AC adapter also if the latter solution is of course less power efficient. For more content that will help you to explore the universe like a pro, subscribe to our channel and clear skies!